yes, do not come to Canada. And I will tell you this, do not come to Canada if the following reasons or explanations I'm giving is the only reason why you're coming or this is your plan, okay? Hello, money bees, and welcome to the channel. It's your girl, Manic Thompson, aka Manic T. If you're new here, well, hello and welcome to the hive. If you're a returning subscriber, you know how we show the love, okay? This is the hive where we share all things good and meaningful that will have some meaningful impact to your life, okay? So today's topic, let me tell you, saddens my heart. But yes, do not come to Canada. And I will tell you this, do not come to Canada if the following reasons or explanations I'm giving is the only reason why you're coming or this is your plan, okay? Um, I'm pretty sure as you've all heard, you've all heard the sad news of the Nigerian yeah. Hello, who passed and away right here um, at the trying to seek asylum in, in Toronto, Canada. We are sleeping and, uh, in tents. All right, outside, this is exactly the spot and where let me tell you, Canada is cold, all right? Canada is cold, we're not even in the thick of winter right now. But in the evenings, it gets really cold. It goes down minus three, sometimes even minus 40. So first of all, if you know you're selling everything you have, and that money can only buy you a ticket and maybe give you some pocket money of a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars. And you only have a visitor's visa and you don't have no backup plan here in Canada or somebody you can stay with. Please stay back home. You have to be prepared to come here. Mm, listen carefully. Be prepared. Do your homework. Don't just listen to people saying, come to Canada, jackpot, 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 and then you just sell all, everything you have, come here, and you're stranded. Especially know where you're going to. If you're going somewhere in Toronto, and you're coming this time in December, and you don't have no concrete things, you don't have enough on you that will support you staying in a place for at least six months, advise yourself, please, okay? And things are like, even some people even have the money, but to find accommodation is the problem right now, right? Even those who are here, um, sometimes are struggling to find the accommodation, right? So, um, be prepared, right? One, if you're coming unprepared, Stay home, okay? Two, if you're coming and you have no backup plan, if you're just coming on a visitor's visa and you don't have a job and your plan is to stay on the visitor's visa till you find your job, you have to give yourself realistic time, six months, and be prepared. Know where you're going to stay. If that does not pan out, know what you will do at that point, right? You can't come and be staying somewhere in Toronto, in our bedroom, and be camping outside. I think I will show you one of my clips. Mm? They don't show you all these videos. I went to Vancouver and I was flesh is shocked or flabbergasted. The number of homeless people in Vancouver, and even that is the warmest place in Canada, and apparently most of the homeless people move to Vancouver during the winter time because it's a little warmer there during the winter and they can camp outside, okay? They won't show you, they don't broadcast this on TV. Mm -mm. But if it's Africa's problem, the whole world will hear it, okay? Um, and unfortunately, yes, people are homeless. Some are working, but they still cannot afford a place to stay. Some are also homeless due to mental health issues, Depression is real over here. Eh? Even here, sometimes back in May, the snow would not have melted. So if your plan is that you only have a visitor's visa and your plan is to come and try and get an LMIA job and switch from visitor's visa to, um, 
what do you call it work permit you need a six month solid plan without that stay back home and come at appropriate time research on where and research the city you are going to land at right and know know the temperature know how cold it gets know what season you are coming if you are coming and this is your plan maybe come springtime right springtime is getting a little bit warmer if you don't find any place at all and you need to camp at least you know that the temperatures are not going deep down freezing okay that and if you know your plan is to come around this winter time my friend practice in your country before you come yeah these minus temperatures are real it's like a more tree temperatures so go <laughs> i'm trying not to laugh here go and make friends with one mochi man and try and stay in that cold thing for one hour and see what's gonna happen to you that's exactly what will happen to you here because these temperatures are frigid right you see that if there are extreme temperatures either really too hot or really too cold i remember back i think maybe during the pandemic time some um one Ghanaian, i remember very well because it was shown on the tv where they walked from somewhere in, in u.s trying to come to canada to seek asylum this guy walked from us to somewhere manitoba or saskatchewan by the time he got to the land border in saskatchewan my friend he had frost you know what frostbite is his hands were frozen he lost his fingers and his toes at least god spared him all at least he survived and was able to tell his story and at least live but now he's living with no fingers no and toast or whatever right so i'm saying this don't come if you don't have no solid plan if you don't have enough funds if you haven't found let's say maybe an airbnb or somewhere you're going to stay for a, at least three solid months right and if that if you don't find anywhere to stay you have somebody who will help you the churches are overwhelmed with the people coming in trying to seek asylum so this is my my little advice for you i know it's the bitter truth when we tell you <laughs> and some of you come and insult us this this why you see if canada is not good go back why are you there <laughs> this is not the same way let me tell you i came to canada i just came with my plane ticket okay but i had a return ticket thousand dollars pocket money but i knew i was coming to school i knew i was on a full scholarship at the end of the month i was going to be paid my rent i uh, lucky enough back then in 2009 2010 i could rent somewhere a whole solid two months already paid for right before i came here right that is being prepared and knowing where you are going i came in winter yes i brought my own winter jackets even that winter jacket self forget the one that you go and buy i don't know in your bend down boutique here yeah? you have to buy the solid one don't go buy like sweater <laughs> you will freeze <laughs> even right now in my own house i'm a little chill even though my heat is on you will freeze and it's only what what is it let me ask google the temperature okay google what temperature is it right now in grand prairie alberta the temperature in grand prairie right now is minus seven degrees due to the current wind conditions it feels like it's minus 12. did you hear it's minus seven plus the wind it feels like minus 12. and this is somebody where someone is sleeping outside maybe not properly warm cold enough and you are just sleeping the next morning unfortunately you will not wake up right yes there are jobs here um canada is great but don't go anywhere unprepared you have to prepare you have to know where you're going the town you're going the temperature there right you have to know all of that before you set out 
and if i'm telling you right now if it's your plan and you have a visitor's visa and you have used all your money to buy your plane ticket and you are coming to canada by this time and you are not going to vancouver or somewhere in bc you are coming to ontario alberta saskatchewan um uh where, where else uh no, not what. No, not what. Gradient doing thing good. Oh, gradient. You wouldn't tell me I'm in call. You, you, what do you call it? Yukon or Ukon. <laughs> That's what it's uh, <laughs> called. An Eskimo. Even that one, eh? So if you're going to any of those places I mentioned and you don't have no solid backup plan, just change your ticket date and come from May. From May, at least you can May. May, June, July, August, September, October. Yeah? At least you will have five solid months to run around. And know that why else you are coming. Every day you'll be hustling to go in to look for this job till you find it. And I'll be able to change your um, your visitor's visa to work permit. All right, guys. Um, this message is coming from my heart to you. Okay? There are good people around. But... You have to be prepared. An opportunity comes to those who are prepared. Because when you are prepared and the opportunity comes knocking, everything will fall in place. If you are not prepared and you just get up, almost say Canada, yeah, Canada is good. Their job, this, that, don't mind those are saying that are coming. You might end up like one of these people and it will break our hearts to break my heart imagine this person now who has passed away it's now government responsibility to go and bury them mm? their family will not see them again you think their family now will take a um, plane to come in nobody will carry uh, the person's body back home this government government will just arrange and bury him somewhere and two if he didn't buy travel insurance that's also another thing. Africans like to travel without travel insurance. <laughs> travel insurance is good for situations like this. It can help you. If he didn't buy travel insurance, at least if he had travel insurance, me, I don't know. Just saying, if he had it, at least that travel insurance will cover him, though, um, take him back home to be buried properly, and his people will give him a befitting burial. Right now, this person who has passed away is lost without no relatives or anything over here. I don't know if he had any relatives or not. So please, please, please do not put yourself in this kind of situation. A word to the wise, they say it's in enough or it's in the north or it's in Abrungo. Mm -hmm. Listen, please. All right. So share this video. Give it a big thumbs up. And let everybody learn from this. Okay, guys. So, um, until then, I will see you in the next one. And stay blessed. Okay, ciao.